Russians vote, Chechen war boosts Yeltsin allies. Death toll in Venezuelan disaster, 5,000 and rising. And Leeds back at the top after beating Chelsea. From ITN, the ITV Weekend News with Nicholas Owen. Good evening. Early results from Russia's parliamentary elections are signalling major changes in the country's political landscape tonight. Centrist parties have made big gains, boosting the hopes of the Prime Minister Vladimir Putin that he'll succeed Boris Yeltsin as president next year. Robert Moore reports from Moscow. Tonight, the great vote count is well underway. Over 100 million Russians were eligible to vote. It's a huge exercise in democracy, involving 94,000 polling stations. It's only the third parliamentary election since the collapse of the Soviet Union. The man who has gained most politically in recent months is the Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. He's not standing for Parliament himself, but support for the unity party that backs him has surged dramatically. Mr Yeltsin himself is in the final months of his presidency. Tonight there is even speculation that he might step aside early, now that his chosen successor, Mr Putin, has gained such political strength. In many ways the vote has been overshadowed by the war in Chechnya, portrayed here as a fight against terrorism. And as Russians voted, so their armed forces continued their assault on Chechen rebels. The stronghold of Grozny is still under heavy air and artillery bombardment. Robert Moore, ITN, Moscow. Robert, what's the latest on the results? Well, we're still, still seeing early indications only in Moscow and in European Russia. The counting really has only begun, but many time zones ahead in Siberia and in the Russian Far East. They're making good progress. The early signs are the communists are doing well, as expected. And the other story of the night is the rise of the Unity Party. That's the pro-Kremlin centrist group that backs the Prime Minister Vladimir Putin and his prosecution of the war in Chechnya. But for many people, Nick, for many people, this is all about a dress rehearsal for the great prize in Russian politics, which is the Kremlin itself, and those presidential elections uh, due in June, just six months from now. And the fighting in Chechnya dominating everything. It is indeed. There's a lot of links, I think, between the Chechen war and the political calendar. Um, certainly, the Russians like the tough and determined stance of the government. But if things go wrong, then politically life remains volatile. And certainly it is possible there could be a reversal of fortune for the Prime Minister yet. Robert Moore in Moscow. Thank you. The full magnitude of the catastrophe in Venezuela has been unfolding tonight as the official death toll there rose to more than 5,000. Mudslides and severe flooding have left 150,000 people homeless. Here's Guy Pitt. It is now the worst natural disaster to hit Venezuela this century. Daily the death toll has risen as body after body is pulled out from the sea.